Hey everyone, thank you for watching Seeker Stead. I'm out here walking around in the woods trying to find some ginseng. But uh, instead of finding ginseng, I found several uh, blackberry plants. Look at this. Look at this. Right here. Those are awesome. I'm just going to try this one right here. See what it tastes like. Mmm, that's really good. All the ones I found were like really small, but that was the biggest blackberry I found. So I figured that's what I needed. I'm gonna go continue to find some ginseng here. Hopefully I've got some, I don't know. All right, everybody. Um, I've not found any ginseng yet, but uh, looks like it's gonna rain pretty soon. But uh, I noticed the last couple of days that one of my Brahma hens wasn't coming back to the coop. And I figured she was out here brooding some eggs. I did. I found where she was. And uh, let me just show her to you real quick. She's right in there in this kind of thicket going on it's kind of a clear spot right here that's the trail going back into the woods but she has been sitting on those eggs for a couple days i've got another brahma that's sitting on eggs inside the coop and it's been a couple weeks so i'm interested to see what might come out there i hope they're successful um because they might do better than the incubator that i got um, I did have another chicken that tried to brood some eggs in here, and she did for about, I don't know, maybe a week, but it came a flood one day, and after that, she gave up. <laughs> um, and it has rained yesterday, you know, and last night, so, and she's still sitting there, so, you know. Maybe she thinks it's gonna work. I don't know, I hope she's right. But I just wanted to show you that because uh, usually I like to make sure that all my Brahmas are inside of the coop. I've only got two Brahma hens. And so I'm kind of a little uneasy about her being out here by herself and especially throughout the night, but you know, I also would like for her to kind of do her motherly things, you know, and encourage that. So we're just gonna let her do that, ain't we, Congo? Yeah, Congo's getting big, ain't you, buddy? Yeah. And he just likes the love. That's a good pup. All right, now here, We've got uh, some of the new chicks. They're, they're still pullets. Uh, kind of hanging out back through here in the woods. And uh, they are my new hens for this next year. Uh, Pongo just saw someone go by. Uh, they're my plan for next year uh, for the next year's uh, chicks and uh, you know we just over the course of a year and a half I kind of figured out you know kind of what I want to try to breed with what and so I've got some some buff warpingtons back here and uh, speckled Sussex and that black one right there um, I think it's a black Menorca. There's actually two of them sitting right there beside each other. Um, those weren't marked. They were just kind of like an unknown chicken. They actually said, uh, bantams, but they're not bantams. And I've researched and researched. And the only thing I come up with is that those are 
black Menorca hens, which are super cool. And this girl right here, that's my speckled Sussex. She's a little sweetheart. And uh, so I've also got some uh, blue laced red wine dots right in there that uh, I'm gonna have all these bread for next year and we'll see what we can get out of them I'd like to get some speckled mottled you know Brahmas uh, because everything around here revolves around Brahmas so I'd like to do that and then here are our, the old clan except that uh, speckled that's walking over there that's the other pullet but uh, most all these here I'm just gonna I'm gonna sell them I've got uh, too many chickens going here and uh, some of those leghorns I'm going to keep. Those are the, the brown leghorns. The ones that produce the uh, cool looking chickens that I showed at the, the last chick video. And uh, so I can't wait to uh, see what they turn out to look like. And then that's the uh, the hen that produced that black chick. She's a sapphire gem. And then the rooster over there getting him some dirt. So anyway, it's just kind of a kind of an easy day here on the stead. Um, not a lot going on today. We're just kind of anticipating the rain. It's actually rained this morning. And so just getting out to see if I could find any ginseng real close and I found those blackberries so that was pretty cool and then found my other Brahma hen and that was really nice so uh, thank you all for watching this episode this little update on the stead and uh, I'll catch you all next time on the next video and remember to always love God with all your heart